Hello. Day four of doing exactly the same thing. And you know what? I really don't mind either. The time now is 6.27, Thursday morning. Seven degrees and I'm in my shorts. Uh, slept again really, really well. Really well? Really well. That's uh, starting to sound Chinese. <coughs> slept, slept well. I was surrounded by trucks, it's always packed here at night. And I was surrounded by trucks. Do you know I only heard one leave? <laughs> there was there must have been ten bays either side of me. I <laughs> I heard one one truck go. And that must have been at about one o'clock this morning. I woke up about quarter past five. Five o'clock. <clears throat> and I thought, uh, no, about just after five it was, and I thought, oh, I need a wee. We got enough fuel to get us up to uh, Junction 29 truck stop where I'll get fuel. on autopilot today, I don't need to do anything, it's got memory control and a um, new feature has been added and it'll just take me to where I want to go, it's excellent, I've just got to lie on the bunk and um, let it do its stuff, technology eh? Hey? they got some right old shitters in there, <laughs> one, of those, one of those places you go when you've got no money. I oh, know, I've been there. That Volvo State. Could be another dry day, I don't know for certain, I haven't checked. So the only difference to today is that I don't have to get this box After off. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A5, towards Brown Hills. I don't have to get this box off because I've got a reload using the same box to that, uh, tomorrow. And I've got to be um, down here at cross Brown Hills. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. <clears throat> Brown Hill is somewhere down here. Hills, five miles away. Uh, down here for uh, nine o'clock in my morning. So when I finish tonight, when I finish this afternoon, I'm coming straight down to here, back to the Hollies again, parking up because it's only five mile in the morning. So uh, days easy work and then it's a load which uh, shouldn't take too long because you know, loading never never does unless there's a real issue 
but I think it's uh, it's either a, <coughs> a metal uh, <coughs> um, recycling place I like, don't look it or a metal uh, preparation plant a metal you know so they'll be loaded so it should be either palletized or going in fairly fairly easily <clears throat> so that shouldn't take long and then it's uh, straight back down the road to Southampton Docks all the mark box in there there's loads of them Oh, it's better that kids eat free. What are they eating? Cheese straw. Packet of crisps. After 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the third exit, A5, towards Brown Hills. Do you ever have that when you... Well, it's my nan. I grew up with my nan. Where am I going here? Oh, well, we've got to concentrate on these bloody... Cross bands. the roundabout and take the third exit. There's only one. I can go. I can go. One, two. Take the third one. Take the exit <coughs> A5, Walsall Road. Then bear right towards Brown Hills. And then I've got to get. After 600 that, feet, A5 bear east right. This then round cross the this lane. and take the first exit. I can do it from here. As a kid, me nan like to drink. I well, don't come across, you know, but. And um, so my nan used to get the pub ready. Bear right, A5, towards Brown Hills, then cross the roundabout and take the first exit. So I used to have to either regularly sit, sit in the car with a packet of crisps and a pickled egg and a bottle of coke, or after 300 feet, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Or, I'll sit in the beer garden. And we cross frequented the, the pubs that often that I used to know the landlord's name at the red line in Sturmston Newton and his name was Roy. And I always remember, it's a one two years later, I used to always wonder why he had a really red nose. <laughs> Probably something to do with that he was a landlord and possibly a raging alcoholic. But yeah, I was always fascinated with his nose. And I used to be able to go into the off bar, you know, the off licensey bit, like a side hatch, and there was a stall in there, and I used to be, I was the lad sitting there. My nan would be sat in the bar. <laughs> Good old days. Proper, proper landlords, proper pubs. else remember the, the red the, the pub is no longer a pub um, but the, uh, the 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 building is obviously still there and it still has the red line over the door big red line which I'm glad they've kept because it, it reminds me of happy days happy times even though the pub is no more which is a shame but yeah happy days Well, the pubs we used to go to in my name. Somewhere around here is what I've got, I've, got, I've got to come down here tomorrow. So it's only going to take me 10 15 minutes to get here. Mind you, the traffic could be a bit, uh, I don't know where it is, I've got to go. Brown Hills. Should have looked on the, on the map a bit.
quarter half a mile, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit, A5, towards Brown Hills. traffic up here That's all right. cross the roundabout and take the second exit a5 towards brown hills so as I'm going to be sat in traffic now I'll, uh, I'll speak to you all bit later on. Hello. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Well, we're going to make our way up to Junction 29 now. Get some diesel. Get some breakfast. Just uh, falling off. Let's pull over. Do some minor repairs. Don't know why I should have done that. Phone decided to uh, collapse. There you go. Disaster averted. After 600 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, back lane. I was feeling a bit sorry for myself this morning. You know. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. But I'm sick, to be honest with you. And, uh, and I put a post on Instagram for those of you that follow me on Instagram of me making me brew my coffee up and, uh, and, I, and I, I glibly said. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Trent Lane. But sometimes this is the highlight of my day, that's making coffee, because, do you know what I mean? Sometimes it bloody is. And then, um, I looked over to me right, and um, the crack of dawn was just showing. And I thought to myself, you know, this is, this may be grim, I've been in the truck all week. I've hardly spoken to anyone. And, uh, to 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Broad Rushes. I saw the sunrise there and I thought to myself, do you know what? This is only temporary. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Well, I sat and watched the sun as, the, uh, as I drank my coffee and uh, I thought to myself, you know, there's things to be grateful for and that's to be able to watch the sun rise. Because a lot of people don't have that opportunity, do they? You know, they've passed away, passed away early. You know, they haven't led a long and fruitful life. Feet, go left or maybe the just haven't led a long life. Exit, or station road. Maybe they've led a long life, but it's not been long enough. So really, as long as I'm still breathing, I'm all right. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Regardless of what predicament I'm in, as long as I can draw breath, I'm ahead of the game. 
because the ultimate game is just to get to the end of the day, innit, and then wake up the next morning. After 600 feet, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. So, yeah. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Makes all the difference, doesn't it? So grateful for small mercies. After a quarter of a mile, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A50, towards Nottingham. That was a bit deep, wasn't it? Blimey. on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. So straight up the M1 now. In the junction 29, have a break, or we can go. lost all sense of direction coming around there. I think that's what the part of the problem is. I seem to... Take the exit, A50. box they've been light all week follow M1 towards Sheffield for 38 miles M1 northbound here we go mile left in the tank so uh, we need to get diesel now be nice getting home tomorrow night and not feeling absolutely shattered which is what I normally do you know I don't have to get up until about half seven tomorrow morning Thank you. 
work down in there. We've been doing that for a little while now. Don't know what they're doing. It's next to a like a reservoir water treatment work. Traffic flowing, no hold ups, nothing. No drama llamas, no bears. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. It's, it's just so much simpler when you go somewhere and it's just like, right, straight in there, right, like I'll put that box up, in, out, seven or eight minutes, start to finish. And the only time it took a bit longer was it was, it was the, the bloke was a, I was talking to the bloke for a couple of minutes because I don't get to talk to anyone. He was quite chatty so I carried on chatting. Go back, listen to the radio, and um, I shall speak to you all as I um, go and do uh, Junction 29. I'll speak to you later. I wasn't sure. There's an old, there's the old, the Rosers are in front of that green sprinter, and I wasn't sure whether he was wanting me to follow him or not. I'm still not entirely convinced. I don't know what that green van's doing. If he peels off and the green van does, yeah, he's pulling the green van in. Yeah. I thought it was me who was pulling in. That's why I sort of, when the speed dropped down, I didn't overtake. So I thought, uh, I don't know. Yeah, phew. Not that I've got anything to hide, I've got to clean my cards, squeaky clean. Squeaky clean. Right, I'm coming off at the next one, get some diesel. Just gonna stay behind this one now. because he pulled up level with me and then sort of <coughs> um, put the lights on and it said follow me on the back and I thought okay and then he pulled in front of me and I thought okay it's me and then that <laughs> fucking sprinter pulled in as well it was like uh, is he wanting to pull in is he pulling that sprinter in or is he pulling me in I don't know I'll just better stay here in case the sprinter carries on If, he, if the sprinter we carried on, I would have, I would have, um, I would have got him. Oh well. Report of a block lane.
we park, that's where we're going. Why are they bothered waving at me? Look, thank you. This is the, oh, I can't remember the last time I had to fill up with diesel, other than out of our yard. It was during the pandemic, I think. But it was a struggle to find fuel in the first place, or anywhere that was bloody open. going to stick 100 litres in. After 600 feet, cross the roundabout and take the third exit, M1, towards the north. Sat nav's going to have a fit. I don't reckon I'll get through these lights though. the roundabout and take the third exit. Oh, maybe I will. Yep. I come off here and go to this one rather than like normal services is that uh, this is a bit more secure down here even in daylight you've got to be you got to be thinking this these days you know it's CCTV'd up it's uh, pretty secure they see who comes in and who goes out whereas in any of the normal motorway services the, the, not interested. Whereas a dedicated truck park, they're a little bit more, a uh, little bit more savvy, and they do care. After a quarter of a mile, go around the roundabout and take the fourth exit, a six thousand one hundred and seventy-five. So I'm only going to stick hundred liters in. So that'll do me to uh, get round today and then tomorrow. Take the fourth exit. It's a shame I've actually got to put any diesel in at all, but I just wouldn't make it. It should be nice and quiet on the pumps. More left. Am I? Key fuels. They take key fuels here? I hope they do. And I'll find out in a minute. After half a mile, turn left, car 
Albert D Road, then go right on the roundabout right, and take the later. third exit. As Hello, here we go. Have something to eat. Sorted. Bit. There's a, scan, a couple of Scania's here all done up. Look, look at these boys out polishing and cleaning. And, oh. Look at them. R730. Oh, Got their high heels and Philly knickers on, I expect. So I'll put, on, put in 100 litres of jollop to get me going. Oh, snotty, you know. Lift driver coming down the road, down the one way. See what I mean about coming down the one way street? <clears throat> they don't care. <laughs> Jack Richards, that's still here, look. <clears throat> they don't care. After 200 feet, turn left. Hardwick View Road, then go right on the roundabout and take the third exit at 6175. Okay, we're good. Go right on the roundabout and take the third <coughs> exit. Speed on. <coughs> so we should have enough diesel to get us back down to Southampton tomorrow. degrees we're in the double figures <clears throat> after half a mile cross the roundabout and take the second exit M1 towards the north got no weight on board. Seven ton I think, it's ridiculous. Nothing. I've carried heavier sandwiches.
cross the roundabout and take the second exit, M1, towards the north. Oh, looks like I can go straight away. Oh, we go, my son! Take the exit, then take the motorway. Take it where? Watch out for bears. Here we go. I've only got to go a couple of junctions now. This is junction 29, I come off at junction 31. Follow M1 towards Sheffield for 11 miles. Well, I must say this week has been an absolute <coughs> joy. <laughs> and it has been because I've just I, woke, I must admit, I did wake up a bit down this morning as well, funny enough. I think I'm just missing the gorgeous cure. But the work this week has been, and maybe that's the problem because I haven't been that busy, which is nice, which means I'm not tired, you know, and I'll get home tomorrow night and I'll be okay. But, yeah, normally it's, it's like, I finish after like a 13 or 14 hour day, 12, 13 or 14 hour day and it's like food, bed, it's that simple, you know, I can maybe, if I park up by 5 or 6 o'clock, I can guarantee by 7 o'clock, I'll be asleep, no if, buts or maybes, I'll be out, because I might be only taking 9 hours off and then I'm bang on it again, you know, at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. So you, you don't have time. You don't have enough time to think. I've had a lot of time to think this week. Think about how we're going to do things, what we're going to do, how we're going to do. Them. And it doesn't help that you know. I think in, in your head's all over the place because you're trying to work out things that there's too many don't knows. You don't know what you don't know. Well, at the moment, I know absolutely nothing. So it's not like we can, you know, I, I can go, right, with this place, I can do this, 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 and this, and this, 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 and this needs to be done immediately. And, and, and put everything into a logical um, program of works to make it all happen. But because I don't know what I don't know, I don't know what I don't know. Which means I don't know. Do I? No, I don't know. Blimey, he was fluorescent in there. He was fluorescent from head to foot, that boy. Grand Kitchens. He ain't gonna get knocked over. with them Moffitts, you'd have thought they would have designed them a little bit better. They always have a seat on them, don't they? Well, you need a seat because you need to sit on something, but they're always exposed. You would have thought they would have had, like, maybe a detachable seat or a, a seat that fits into a um, an enclosed... There's a lid that goes over the top that keeps it dry. Because, you know, you've been driving up the motorway and it's pissing down with rain, all snowing, and that's just going to get absolutely minging. And then you've got to go and sit in it. No, no thanks. You know, I don't even like sitting on a damp park bench, let alone sitting something like that. Why would you want to do that? It's like, it's just, it's just poor design. There must be a way around it. Some of the seats you see, they're all like hanging off and like all ripped and torn, which means the, you know the sponge in the, in the seat material is all soaking up all the water. Then you've got to sit on it. Ugh. Some people go, oh, why don't you just put a bag over it then? I said, well, yeah, 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 okay, you can just put a bag over it, but that's not the point. It's a wrong design. What that is, is no consideration for the driver. That's what that is. 
the person that's got one trade above it. That's what I reckon anyway, it's my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to leave you to it. I'll probably put you on when I come off for the uh, motorway, which uh, won't be too long. And it's only out the road. I'll speak to you in a bit. After a quarter of a mile, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A57, towards Worksop. For the fourth and final time this week, we're heading to Worksop. Called the work. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. We're a little busy here. Billy Barry, tankers. That's David's brother. We both went in different directions. <laughs> Just back a bit further around around about there. It all goes into one lane. There. Like it does here. <laughs> Jeez. Like it does round here. Or? Take the exit, A57, works up road. So four times into this place this week, this is the fourth, fourth and final time. Uh, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> Lunatic. There we're about. They are about. Probably find them up here a bit further up, causing carnage in a minute. <clears throat> Another way here. I'd be surprised if you didn't. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A57 Sheffield Road. Go on, him. What's the pub over there? Yeah, you're right. Red line. Follow A57 
57 Sheffield Road for 4.5 miles. Someone's going for it. Pink bag, pink bag. Turn me buzzers off. We see different things. Church with a spiral. Didn't have noticed that before. Fourth time I come in here, notice the spiral. Oh, I've got hiccups now. Anston, this is where this is. Into a 40, but uh, this, you know, it's a, this shouldn't be a 40 going through here. I'm doing about 20, 25, 26 at the moment, 28. Sort of hill you don't want to get stuck on in the winter, innit? A lot of new builds in Anston, right near the church, and they get away with it. No HGVs. You see why? You see how low the bloody canopy is.
all I've got to do today, as long as this container's alright, it's got a bashed in handle. So as long as I can get the container shut alright once I've tipped, um, it'll be a strike which I hopefully that'll be the case. We'll be going uh, straight back to the Hollies. If not, we might have to faff around and get this box off and get another one on. Or the job might be cancelled and we might do something different, I don't know. So who knows? JBB lorries in the wrong lane yourself, like. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, B6041, Gateford Road. I think he's going to want to come across. Yeah, there you go, my son. You can just tell. You can just tell. After a quarter of a mile, go around the roundabout and take the fourth exit, no, A57. Be quiet. All you have to do is take me down here and make me turn left. I'm there. Now this, I guess if you carry on down this road that I'm going down, it'll eventually bring you out on the road that it's trying to take me in on. But All the houses in on me left. Right. I'll spark to speak to spark to you. No, I won't spark. I'll speak. Speak to you later on. Another job done. My phone's not working, let's uh, pull over here a minute and have a look. Just for a second. Uh, phone not connected, why isn't it connected? Device, you're now connected to via Bluetooth. Device not 
find connections, Bluetooth, connecting. Connecting. Hmm. Bizarre why it does that. Just disconnects itself from the. Uh... A gaggle of um. Utility. Searchers. After a quarter of a mile, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A57. Don't know what you'd call them. Well, I've got to park up somewhere, so I might as well park up back at the Hollies again. Take the third exit, A57. How many times have you seen this way this week? This is the fourth time. Fourth and final time of the week. Going somewhere different tomorrow. Ish. Take the exit, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Gateford Road. <clears throat> Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A57. Peugeot looks quite nice down there. You'll see it as it, uh, no doubt, as it flies away. Peugeot, uh, the new um, Peugeot 50 Summit GT, that's a nice saloon car, isn't it? Looks very nice. It's probably, there's probably more BMW 5 oh, series, a they're more common than, they, than that if you want something to miles. Not as common, but it'd be quite nice. And a damn sight cheaper. Welcome to Rotherham. The Rotherham, the actual area of Rotherham is, is A, quite large. B, pretty warm. Ugh. In places. I've never been to the centre of Rotherham. Well, we haven't got to get the box off today. Over three and a bit hours, I think. Times it now. Ten to two, yeah, it took quite a while. Cars 
waiting for later on today, haven't they? Oh, mate. Bit of traffic, what's going on here? Yeah. Tractor or a crane or something like that. Crane. Oh well, we're no rush. There's no there's no deadline to be anywhere apart from Nine o'clock tomorrow morning, 20 minutes up the road from Round Park in the night, so. Time now 13 53, 12 degrees. Super. Look how long it takes him to do that old field over there. You can see that tractor. After half a mile, cross the roundabout and take the third exit, A57, Worksop Road.
cross the roundabout and take the third exit, A57, Worksop Road. Delay somewhere. Well, if I have, I have. After half a mile, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, M1, towards the south, then take the motorway. Slow traffic on M1. Traffic jam ahead between A38 Alfreton Road and A38 Alfreton Road. Two minutes delay. Train's going a different direction to me. Take the first exit, M1, towards the south, then take the motorway. Can see, can see, let's go. Congestion, all in there. Right, speech is all later. Hello. I don't remember any of this. I've come a different way. 11 minute delay coming up though. Oh, and as of now, I so I was just on autopilot last few times I come through it. I've been up. I don't know if I'm going a different way. I really don't know. See now. <laughs> Get off your phone. Get off your phone, mate. Hmm. 
Round the boat. I didn't come this way yesterday, did I? Surely not. Maybe I did. Well, at least we're moving. Uh, I vaguely remember it. Stay in this lane. of um, motorbikes scooters even bike through, not even a twitch of the foot or a nod of the head. It's only down to this roundabout and then it's uh, clear. So I'll speak to you all later on. Well, this is the road that we normally go on, so I don't know what I was thinking. But something that I haven't recorded, I've been down every day, but I never recorded here before. There's all these houses here on the left. And I don't, I can't quite fathom like, what's going on. Because After all... a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A38, towards Nottingham. They all look quite nice houses, but they're all sort of boarded up, apart from one. So is that all part of a compulsory purchase, or is it? I, I don't. I don't quite understand. It's one there. Yeah, all the way up to the end here. A row of. Very strange. Well, traffic is a bit on the heavy side today. Not so good. After 200 feet, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A38, towards Nottingham. Don't quite know what the problem is. Oh yeah, you truck on through the red lights. The last three or four cars to go f go through. I mean, if you're the old bill, it must be rich pickings if you're an unmarked car. There's so much fuckwittery that goes on. You just got to 
you could just nab people left, right and centre, you wouldn't have to go far. Come on. Oh, you're not stuck out, are you? No, just and just get through. Slow, slow, slow. Should be parked up by uh, just after four o'clock. It's, it's still an easy day, isn't it? I didn't get going until gone six this morning. It's it's slightly concerning though when you do a fifty-hour week and you consider that to be a short week. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's wrong, isn't it? That's an easy week. I've only done 50 hours. I'm only doing 10 hour days. It wouldn't be any good if you're on a hourly rate, though, would it? Today, this week. Over the week, you're sort of 10 hours, 10 hours adrift. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A38, towards Nottingham. Well, this is just really slow. <coughs> So I'm going to go back to Brown Hills tomorrow, which is about, it's got part and trousers on it, Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A38, <coughs> <coughs> Nottingham. Well, don't sneeze as you come up to a junction. Oh, we're good to go. That was easy. The exit. Now we're off. Follow A thirty eight towards Birmingham for twenty two miles. two miles. Right, I shall speak to you all a little later on. Well, the nice Range Rover up ahead. <laughs> Got a bit of a Range Rover issue at the moment. Looks nice. Been looking at between Range Rovers and Discoveries. And uh, you just get a, you get more value for money out of a Range Rover than you do a Discovery, bizarrely. Oh, I'm not going to see it now. Go on, white van. Range east off.
we've got four day weeks the next uh, couple of weeks nice so we have definitely decided we're not going to France for holiday we're going to Scotland and we're looking at staying around the Inverness area and the Inverness area, we think, at the moment. God, I'm alive. Interesting to see which way it takes me in a minute or two if I've went to <coughs> see exactly the same way because I just started turning up right to the um, container yard, I'll just go straight ahead. I'm not missing anything out of this road to journey back at all from what I normally do. I'm taking longer today though, there we go, we'll steam ahead. Oh, look at that wheelbarrow and cement mixer envy. After 1.2 miles, keep right. We've even looked, and the gorgeous Kira is a bit horsey. She likes horses. And, um, We've actually looked at uh, stable, stables, buying stables. You can make quite a bit of money out of that. And, um, good source of income. Personally, I don't like horses. I can't remember who said it. I can't remember. It was somebody in the royal family. They said that horses, they're... Um, Dangerous both ends and tricky in the middle. I think that sums them up really. Talk about unpredictable. After half a mile, keep right. But if they're sort of liveried and you know, self livery in stables and um, keep right. Self liveried in stables or, or out in a, a, a paddock. You have a designated area of land and you can build your own stable in there, you can put your own stable up. There's really good money to be made out of that. And I ain't got to do anything. Which is my kind of my kind of work. So we have been looking at a few of those up in Scotland. Broken down or had an accident, Dragon. Broken down, I reckon. No one coming up on the inside of it. Not a good place to break down. See, if that was me, I would have just, in the last dying breath, tried to get up under the grass a bit. Unless of course you were stationary in traffic going along there and it just died of death that you were stationary, I don't know. Who knows how it got there? Well, I wouldn't want to be that police car. Even though you've got your lights on, I still I think I'd... I don't know. It's raining, isn't it? Take your chances. I'd like to think that somebody would see the lights, wouldn't you? After 
after a quarter of a mile, bear right A5, then go left on the roundabout and take the second exit towards Brown Hills. Amount of times I've done this and I still can't remember where to go. Bear right A5, then go left on the roundabout and take the second exit towards Brown Hills. Whoa, whoa, stay there. After 300 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the second exit. Go left on the roundabout oh, and take the second cock. exit. Come on. got falls a bit, could not he? Let me through. He must have seen that he was blocking me up. Now, remember this next round, but I've got to be in the right-hand lane. Markables could do with being down here somewhere at that low man here. Last couple of days, by the time you get to here, it was already too late to get over. After a quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A5, towards Brown Hills. This is called here, it's called uh, Muckley, Muckley Corner. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Some beeping going on there, nothing to do with me. Then again, they go that way. Yeah. It's not wacky races this roundabout. Brown Hills, this is where I've got to go tomorrow morning. somewhere. I'm only eight and a half miles away. If it's here, but it's a bit further along down the road here somewhere. Well, it's three miles to Brown Hill, so I'm only going to be about five miles away. Because the other services were way back up on the A38, so um, the other little part and trap stop. I've stopped in there before, it's a little, tiny little truck stop, but the, and the food wasn't that special neither. I was, I was, I was hoping for better.
quarter of a mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A5, towards Cannock. Brown Hills to the left. What will be up in there? It's industrial units. Easy cross tiger. the roundabout and take the second exit. There we go. There's a right load of industrial units around here. I think it might be up in there. Another Range Rover. up in there. Left up in there, big industrial state. from baking for me tea tonight. traffic is going to be like coming down here 8 o'clock in the morning. Pretty hectic I would have thought. We'll be here for 9. Probably what I'll do is I'll leave at half 7. Get there when I get there, which will probably be early. my man. We're about the speed limits or the speed camera there. Yeah, I thought you might hit the brakes there. Good idea. Well, we're a bit later today. About 45 minutes later. I tried to set fire to that one. Okay, can anyone remember what the pubs are? Come on, quick. After a quarter quick, of a quick. mile, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A5, towards Cannock. Yeah, crown in the red line. Paint colour for Trevor Pye. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Oh, you nobble. Know 
tip the driver on a mission. He's on his way home. Take the exit, A5, Watling Street. Train over to the right, burnt out red line on my left. Red line, no it's not, it's the rising sun. I'm sure you're all shouting at me, no it's not a red line, it's the rising sun. Yeah, you're right, it is the rising sun. <coughs> me being an idiot. I told you I was an idiot. Second exit, A5, towards Canuck. Frank, Hud Frank Hudson. Throaty exhaust. After three hundred feet, cross the roundabout. And take the second exit, A5, towards Canuck. Right. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Not much to see along here. You've seen it all before. So I'll uh, probably put you on as I go into the uh, truck stop. Speak to you later. Hello. Well, we successfully negotiated the roundabouts. I'm not entirely sure that I got the uh, correct lanes. But, uh, We live to tell the town. Just a couple of minutes away now. Deep for the day. Full of low loaders. Is that taking them in, bringing them out? feet, cross the roundabout and take the third exit, A5, towards Telford. Availablecar.com. Sure that used to be called something different. Cross the roundabout and take the third exit. Oh, 
Oh, it's busy this time of day. Come on, come on, come on. Because that works, doesn't it? Little VW Beetle. Going around in that lane. Can't just straight line it. That coach driver has an easy day, doesn't he? His coach is parked up there every day as we've come back through it. After a quarter of a mile, you have reached your destination, it is on your right. Yeah, the Range Rover in there. Six grand. I think I might give that one a skip. You have reached your destination, it is on your right. It is, and it is on my right. Loads of it. A little car. Go, go, go. Oh, I can't. Start moving. Somewhere in the back. Back to where I was. Oh, a little bit of space. Tons. There's more today than there was the last few days. Let's pick a pick a slot. I'm gonna be around here somewhere. straight back on there, I should be about there. Yeah, looks good enough to me. I reckon I'm pretty straight on that. So 
we'll look over the other side just to make sure. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. In one, eh? That's about that then. No dilly dallying, I didn't even go around in circles or do a loop the loop or anything. Yeah. Almost. I don't say almost. There I say it. Professional. Yeah. Right, that's me done. I'll speak to you all later.